So this zero right here, you could have made it positive or you could have made it negative, it doesn't matter. Now we're going to multiply down three times and we're not going to change the sign. Multiply these three numbers together and you will get a zero. Multiply these three numbers together and you will get positive 16. Multiply these three numbers together and you will get zero. And now what do you think you do to these six numbers? You add them together. Okay, so you would get um, 14 for your determinant. 14, okay. 4 plus 0 minus 6 plus 0 plus 16 plus 0 is 14. Okay, now please understand uh, this is a pretty easy procedure, so I'm only going to do that one example. Please practice this tonight in your homework, okay? All right, let's continue on. Now, we're going to move on to a topic called minors and cofactors. When I am done going over minors and cofactors, I will show you how they tie into determinants, okay? So I will show you that at the end. Now, first, understand that we only find minors and cofactors of a square matrix. Understand that, okay? We only find minors and cofactors of a square matrix. Number two, understand that the number of minors will always equal the number of entries. For example, this matrix, this matrix here has how many entries? Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So how many minors would I have? Nine. How many cofactors would I have? Nine also. The number of minors will always equal the number of entries. This is also true for cofactors, okay? All right, let's continue on. Now, let's go ahead and try one of these problems. So, here we go. Copy this in your notes, please. I want us to find the minors and cofactors of the given matrix, okay? <clears throat> We're going to find the minors and cofactors of the given matrix here. Okay, now, students, please listen to me carefully. This first number here is called 1-1. One, one. We call it minor 1-1 one, one because it's row 1, column 1. So we start with this number here, got it? And we put M11. This stands for row 1, column 1. Okay. Then, because we circled this number here, we cross off all the numbers in this column, all the numbers in this row. And what we're left over with is a matrix that we're going to find the determinant of, okay? So, let's find the determinant of this very quickly. Multiply up, we get zero. Multiply down, negative one. Add those together, negative one. There we go. Pretty simple, okay. I did not mean to, to erase those bars, but that's okay. Now, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go on to minor number 12. That's row one, column two. So this number here, row one, column two. So because I circled this number here, I'm gonna cross off this row and this column. So my, my matrix is three, four, two, one, okay? Multiply up eight, I'll put it negative eight. Multiply down three, combine those, I get negative five, okay? All right, moving on to um, my next minor. Minor 13, that's row 1, column 3, row 1, column 3, right there. So cross this row off, cross this column off, and my matrix is 3, 4, negative 1, 0. Multiply up, negative 4, I'm going to put a positive 4, 3 times 0 is 0. Combine those and I get 4. So I'm one third of the way done, all right? Now let's move on to minor number 21, right here. Second row, first column. Second row, first column. Cross that off, cross that off, and I'm left with two, zero, one, one. Multiply up, zero, multiply down, two, add those together, two. Okay, moving on to minor 20, 
23. Excuse me, 22. That's row 2, column 2. Row 2, column 2. So I'm left with 0, 4, 1, 1. 4 times 1 is 4. I'll put a negative 4. 0 times 1 is 0. Add those and we get negative 4. Okay. All right, moving on to my next minor. And of course, my next minor would be <coughs> 23, which is row 2, column 3, right here. Row 2, column 3. So I'm left with 0, 4, 2, 0. All right. Multiply up, you get 8. I'm going to put a negative 8. Multiply down, you get a 0. Combine those, and you get negative 8. Okay. We're 2 thirds of the way done. Now for our last three, minor number 31. That's row 3. Column 1. Okay. Row 3, column 1. So the matrix would be 2, negative 1, 1, 2. Multiply up. Negative 1, I'm going to put a positive 1. 2 times 2 is 4. Combine those and you get a 5. Okay. Moving on to minor number um, 32. So row 3, column 2. So we're left with 0, 3, 1, 2. Multiply up 3, that's a negative 3. Multiply down, that's a 0. Combine those, and you get a negative 3. Okay? And then lastly, minor number 33. Okay? That's row 3, column 3, so this number here. So your matrix would be 0, 3, 2, negative 1. Multiply up. Oh, that's 6. So I'm going to put a negative 6. 0 and negative 1 is 0. And so I'm going to combine those two and you will get a negative 6. So students, I hope that made sense. That's called finding the minors of a matrix. Now, how do you find the cofactors? Well, once you find the minors, then the rest of it's really easy, okay? Here's all that you have to do. You either change the sign of the number or you leave it alone, okay? So here's what you do. If you add these two numbers together and it's an even number, then you don't change the number, you leave it alone. So cofactor cofactor 11 is negative 1, it stays the same. Now cofactor 12, if you add these together and they're odd, 1 plus 12 is 1 plus 2 is 3, then you change the sign of this. So it's a negative 5, I'm going to put a positive 5. Okay, now come over here. Uh, same thing over here for my um, minor is, I'm going to put cofactor 13. If you add 1 plus 3, it's a positive number. So because it's positive, you do not change the sign of this, so we leave it 4. Cofactor 21, 2 plus 1 is 3. So it's an odd number, so I do change the sign of this and make it negative 2. Okay, cofactor 22. If you add those two together, you get 4. That's an even number. So we do not change the sign of negative 4. We leave it alone. If it's an even sum, you do not change the sign. If it's an odd sum, you change the sign. Okay, cofactor 23 equals, okay, add 2 plus 3 is 5. That's odd. So you do change the sign of negative 8. It's positive 8. Next is cofactor 31. Um, 3 plus 1 is 4. That's even. So we do not change the sign of the 5. We leave it alone. Next is cofactor 32. That's an odd number, 3 plus 2. So we do change the sign of this. Negative 3 becomes positive 3. And then cofactor number um, 33. 3 plus 3 is 6. That's even. So we do not change the sign of negative 6. Now, students, there's one other way to do this. And let me show you real quick. Um, there's another. Let me get this out of the way here. There's another way, too, students, to know whether or not you change the signs. And I use this way a lot. Remember, we were dealing with a 3x3 three three matrix. So you come over here, and you always put positive first, and then go down, negative, and then positive, okay? And then go across. So positive, negative, positive, negative, positive.
positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. And so this also works. This would tell you the sign. This would tell you whether or not to change the signs of each number. For example, this is positive, so I did not change the sign of this. This was negative, so I did change the sign of negative 5 to a 5. This is positive, so I um, did not change the sign of the 4. I don't really care for this method. I think in your homework help video, I use this method here. I really don't care for that. I would just simply stick to, personally, I would stick to, if the sum of this number here is odd, change the sign, and if it's even, don't change the sign. That's probably the best way to do that, okay? All right, okay, moving on. Now, um, this can be somewhat of a confusing procedure, so let's try one more, and let's make it a little easier, okay? Let's try a two by two. So go ahead and copy that down, and let's quickly find the minors and the cofactors of this matrix, okay? So here we go. We're going to start off with M11. That's row one, column one. So cross that off, cross that off, and you're left with one number. So there's really no determinant to find. So M11 is just 10. Pretty simple, huh? Now let's go on to M20, M12. That's row one, column two, this number here. So we're left with three. That's really easy. Moving on. Now let's go with minor 21. That's row two, column number one, leaving you with nine. Okay. And then we're looking at minor uh, 22. That's row two, column two, leaving you with a five. Okay. Now there's your minors. Now let's quickly find our cofactors, okay? Now if you want to use the sign sequence thing, you've got a two by two. You always start positive here, and then go down alternating signs. Then over here's a negative, and then a positive. And that's totally fine. I don't recommend that method, but you can use that. I just simply say this, cofactor 11, one plus one is two. That's even, so leave the 10 alone. Then cofactor 12, one plus two is three. That's odd, so change the sign of this, negative three. And then cofactor 21, two plus one is three. And so that's odd, so you change the sign of your nine. And then cofactor 22, two plus two is four. It's an even number. So you do not change the sign of that five, okay? So there we go. There's your minors, and there's your cofactors, okay? All right, moving on. Now, let me show you how this ties into determinants of matrices, okay? Let's use a four by four matrix. Please do not take, <clears throat> please do not take any notes on this. Just watch. I'm not gonna make you do this, okay? But when it comes to find the determinant of a matrix bigger than three by three, it really starts becoming difficult. So you can pick out a row or a column. I'm going to use a column because it has a bunch of zeros. And what you do is you have to find, let's see, this would be uh, row one. So I want cofactor. Um, and again, don't take notes on this. You don't have to know this, but I'm trying to show you why we learn minors and cofactors. Because minors and cofactors help you find the determinant of matrices larger than 3 by 3, okay? What if this number here is it's 3 times uh, the cofactor of, let's see, row 1, column 3, so cofactor 13 plus 0 times cofactor uh, 23 plus your next number here is 0, so 0 times cofactor 33, because this number here is the third row, third column, plus, now we're down to this number here, so because you have a zero, you put zero times cofactor um, uh, 43. And then if you'll figure all that out, you'll get to determine that you don't need to take notes on that. You don't need to know that. I'm just trying to show you how cofactors and minors tie in with determinants, okay? But understand, once you get past 3 by 3 matrices, the only way to find determinants is to use minors.
factors and cofactors other than using a calculator okay um, and so I just did that for you there. I'm, I'm <coughs> I just demonstrated that for you and showed you how to use minors and cofactors to find the determinant of a matrix okay in closing I want to be clear that I will not have you find the determinant of a matrix larger than a 3 by 3 unless I allow you to use a calculator okay so understand that now by now you know how to enter a matrix into your graphers okay the way to find the determinant is very easy please listen to me very carefully after you have entered the matrix into your calculator go to the math option under matrices in other words <coughs> you hit second matrices and then go over scroll over to math once you do that look at option number one okay option number one says DET you hit enter on that and on your screen after you hit enter on number one this will pop up on your screen DET with the parentheses then you go back into your matrices and hit enter on wherever your matrix is A, B, C, D, or E let's say you used B so you go to matrix B and hit enter well this will pop up there on the screen then hit enter again and the determinant will pop up for you okay so um, that helps you a little bit by understanding what I'm looking for but if it's a if it's a 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 um, we can do those longhand anything bigger than that 